All right, I'm back again with the night games. Already dropped an episode with the early games. Now we got the five late ones. Let's dive right in. Welcome to the sewers. Hey, get the sewers. The sewers. Sewers. The sewers. Hey, get the sewers. First up, Hornets Blazers in Charlotte. This line opened Charlotte plus five, so we got a home dog here. Uh, early Publix on Charlotte, but the Sharps are on Portland. 73% of early money on the Blazers. Now the money stays on Portland all morning, but the line drops from five down to four and a half. This is most likely because they reported Damian Lillard not playing in this game. So Dame is out. PJ Washington is questionable. Uh, Devontae Graham is questionable. Malik Monk is out. Few injuries here in this game. Listen, I gotta take Portland here. I'm gonna lay the four and a half points even without Dame. Charlotte is just a mess. They are riddled with injuries. I'm gonna put this on the menu too. I'm putting Portland minus four and a half on the menu. Now, if PJ Washington plays, there's a chance I take it off, but most likely not. So stay tuned to my Twitter for that. I also really like the under here, 221 and a half. In the last five games, both teams are playing at a really slow pace. 221 and a half seems high for them. I'm not gonna put it on the menu, but I'm close. I was close to putting it on. Uh, if anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story next game. Next up, Magic Rockets in Orlando in the ugliest game of the weekend. Good Lord, this game sucks. <laughs> this line opened Orlando plus one. Uh, early bets and early money came in pretty close to even. In the late morning, we see a bunch of Orlando money come in and this moves the line from uh, Orlando plus one up to Orlando minus one. And when it hits Orlando minus one, we do see some Rockets money start to come in. Straight up, this game is trash. John Wall is out. Uh, Michael Carter Williams is going to miss a few more games. Otto Porter Jr. is out. This is just a horrible game. I'm going to go with Houston plus one and the over here. As of right now, neither of these are on the menu, but there is a chance I add Houston plus one to today's men to tonight's menu. I should say, I'm not positive. I feel like Houston just has to win this game. Orlando is a mess, uh, but as of right now, neither on the menu. Anything changes, Twitter, Instagram story, next game. Next game up, the Raps. <laughs> Raptors laying 11 and a half points at home here to Oklahoma City. Um, early Sharps actually leaning a little bit towards OKC. 61% of early money on the Thunder. The money would creep back towards the Raptors, but at noon we do see the consensus line drop from 11 and a half down to 10 and a half. OKC is still crushed with injuries. For Toronto, they got Van Vliet is questionable. Gary Trent Jr. also questionable. Listen, I'm gonna lay the 10 and a half here. Actually, I'm gonna put this on the menu too. I know it sounds crazy to lay that many points with Toronto, but Siakam and Ananobi should go crazy under the basket today. I expect to see him at the foul line a lot. Um, I actually kind of like this pick. Give me Raptors minus 10 and a half on the menu. I have officially reboarded the Raptor chopper. Next game up, Mavericks Kings in Dallas. They have Dallas laying eight here at home. Uh, early money slightly favoring the Mavericks. More Mavericks money would come in as the morning progressed and the consensus line would move from Dallas minus eight up to Dallas minus eight and a half. I said on an episode a couple days ago that I was going to keep fading Sacramento until they got Rashawn Holmes or Marvin Bagley or both back. Both are still out. So I'm going with Dallas here. I'm gonna lay the eight and a half points. I'm pretty confident. This is probably my pick of the night. Uh, Dallas minus eight and a half. It's definitely on the menu. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story next game. Next game up is Clips versus T-Wolves in LA. Line open with the Clips laying eight and a half points at home here. Early bets actually favoring Minnesota, but the Sharps are all over the Clippers. Money would stay on the Clippers all morning, all the way up to noon, and the books didn't like it at all. A uh, consensus line moved all the way up to LA minus 10. Kawhi Leonard is questionable. Obviously, that's huge. I'm going to lay the points with the Clippers. I think they match up great with the T-Wolves. Um, they're going to hit a lot of threes in this game. So I'm going to lay the points whether Kawhi Leonard plays or not. If he does it, it will not be on the menu. If he does play, I'm going to slap it on the menu fast as hell. I also really like the over in this game at 234 and a half. And I had it on the menu originally and just took it off right before I started recording. So as of right now, Clips minus 10, not on the menu, and neither is the over at 234, but I may add the Clippers later, we'll see. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. Let's do the parlay of the day. Actually, there is no parlay of the night. I'm doing a round robin of the night. I'm gonna put it out on all my social media around 4 p.m. Eastern time. Let's pick our spots. Let's make some units tonight. Let's get back on track. Sources out, I'll talk to you on Twitter.